YouTube, listen, I got a product that you need to try. I got a product that you might want to check out. I got this product that you might want to check it out, okay? Let's check it out. All right, so listen. I got this product that my cousin makes. It's called Peruvian White, all right? It's basically a miracle styling and shine foam. Now, the way I use this product is that I put it on my African-American clients, all right? The coarse hair. I put it on the taper, and then I brush it in. Then I put a do-rag on it to lock it down, blow dry, and then by the time I unrag, it's super laid. I do this with the whole head, depending on if the hair is just all over the place. If you have a client that's cutting off all of his dreads, you got a client that has an afro cutting it down, this is perfect for laying down the hair, all right? And I recommend this product. You can get this product right here by checking out the links in the description below. Shout out to Marcus, that's my cousin. He makes this product. It's a dope product for laying your hair down and it gives a nice little moisturizing shine all right it's your boy 360 Jeezy in this video I did just that stay tuned Alright you guys, so before I started cutting, I did pick the hair out. Uh, after I picked it out, I went ahead and grabbed my one guard um, using my wall cordless seniors and I'm just going with the grain, taking the hair down. So because my client had all that hair on his head, the hair doesn't lay down like you want it. So what you wanna do is do a little slight brush session, lay that hair back down with the grain. I do that to lay the hair back down in place and to see if I need to go against the grain with a bigger guard. So I see that there's areas in his head that aren't uh, necessarily even so I went ahead and grabbed my three guard with the lever fully closed and I'm going against the grain making sure that I get everything down to that 1.5 length So after I'm done taking the hair down and having everything laid in place, I want to start on the taper. I'm going to use my Endis Cordless GTX and set in my bald line. I'm going to do it straight on. I'm not going to add any curve to it this time. I'm just going to do a basic high taper. Setting in my next guideline, I'm gonna use my one guard with the lever open and I'm going up about a half inch and right there on the vertical bar, I'm gonna leave that part a little lower than the back towards his ear. So same thing with the one guard with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch and I'm keeping it even width wise, unlike I did with the lever open because the line is gonna still remain dark even with the one guard with the lever open. So I see a little bit of weight at the top, so I'm going to take my two guard and close the lever and just kind of flick out that area, making sure that the transition runs smoothly to that 1.5 on top. So 
So I still see a line of demarcation at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one guard with the lever open and in a flick out motion, I'm only using my corners. I'm gonna quickly flick out that top line. It's very important to only use your corners and to be quick when you flick out. Next with the zero guard closed, in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Remember to start below the line, flick to the line, and brush the hair down as you go. So same thing with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember to start below the line, flick to the line, and adjust your lever as you go up. So lastly, what you want to do is detail work. What I like to do is I like to look away from the blend for a second and come back to it. But I noticed that using my mirror really gives me a different perspective on a blend. It actually shows me different things that I wouldn't normally see just dead on. So uh, use that tip as well, as long with, you know, resting your eyes. How I detail is that I use the corners of my blade only. And basically, I'm just going in between those bulk areas, kind of scattering the hair out so it won't be as cluttered. Now as far as the back goes, I use the same exact steps. So I want the hair to lay down more than it is. So I'm gonna use this Peruvian Miracle Styling Foam. Shout out to my cousin, my cousin makes this product. Um, you could get it, the link will be in the description below. But what this does, it lays down the hair and moisturize the hair. I'm gonna throw a do-rag on, blow dry, and then when I take it off, it's gonna be nice, moisturized, and laid.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like, Damn, son, we make it look easy. You, too, this is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 gz and my Instagram is 360 gz But it's your boy 360 gz and I'm out of here.